Welcome back to my jQuery Fundamentals course. In lesson three, we're covering hover states on these links. So each of these links have two text elements inside. Both of the text elements have a class of link text. We're gonna set their parent to overflow hidden, and we have a Webflow interaction applied. Anytime we hover over one of the links, it slides up the text, revealing the second line underneath. The problem is we don't wanna to have to change the text out for the first and the second line together. So we're gonna use jQuery to say, anytime we hover over one of these links, get the content of the first line of text and apply it as the content of the second line of text. Let's start by copying the class of our link. We'll head over to the jQuery builder and we'll paste it as our trigger element. Now for the link, we have a couple options. Hover applies anytime we hover in or out and then hover in would happen just when we hover in. In this case, we only need to change the text out once when we hover in, and it'll stay that way from that point on. Next, let's get the class of the text inside. So we'll copy this class of text link, and then we'll paste it in as our target element. And for our action, what we wanna do is actually get the text. Now, if we leave this field empty, it's just gonna tell us what the content of this text link says. But if we actually want to change the content, we can type some new text here. In this case, I'll type hello. I'll copy this code and paste it in Webflow for you to see what it does. Now on the live site, anytime we hover over any one of the links, it changes the text of all of them to say hello. This isn't what we want. We want to change only the text that's inside of the link we hovered over. So in our jQuery builder, we're going to change our target to trigger element. Using the trigger element, it's gonna find out which link we hovered over and then change the text of that. But we don't wanna change the text on the link itself. We wanna change it on the element inside of that link. So we can paste our target class inside this get children field. And now it's going to find a child with the class of link text inside of the link we hovered over. If we copy this code and run it, now on the live site, it only changes the text inside of the link that I hovered over, and it's changing it out for both the first and second line. We really wanna get the content inside the first line of text and apply it to the second, but they both share the same class name. To select only the first link text element inside of our hovered link, we need to select our traverse to option to be EQ. EQ lets us pass in any number. It starts at zero and counts up. So zero would be our first line of text, one would be our second line of text, and if we had a third line, two would be our third line of text. Since we want to get the content of the first line, we'll set this to zero. Now if I run this code in Webflow, what you'll notice is it's only changing the text out inside of the first line that we hover over, not the second line. If we want to get the content of the first line instead of applying new text to it, all we have to do is leave this field empty. Now that we have the text of the first line of text that we hovered over, we need to save it somewhere so we can use it later. We can save it in something called a variable, which we can name whatever we'd like. When naming our variables, we use camel case, so the first word always starts with a lowercase letter, and each of the following words start with a capital letter. In this case, we'll call our variable top line text. Next, we just need to select our second line of text inside the link we hovered over, and apply this content to it. So we'll go over here and click new item to create our next item here. This time we're gonna get the trigger element again, and then we're gonna get the link text again for the child inside of the one we hovered over, and then we're gonna traverse 10 EQ of one, so we get that second line of text. And then for our action here, we actually want to uh, change out the text again and instead of typing some text like hello and setting it to what we want, we're gonna pull the text from a variable we created, and the variable we wanna pull it from is the one we created above called top line text. And you'll notice when this variable turns white, that means it's pulling from the variable we created above. The order is also really important. Say I move this step up. Now with this step up before the first line of text, you'll notice the variable's purple. It can't find this variable because it hasn't been created yet until the second line. So we need to make sure that the line where we create the variable is at the top, and then we reference the variable underneath. Now we can copy all this, and we'll paste it inside script tags in our closing body tag section of the page. Let's save and publish. Now on the live site, when we hover over any one of the links, it grabs the content of the first line of text and applies it dynamically to the second line of text without us having to change anything else out. 
If you've enjoyed Lesson 3, please consider hitting that subscribe button as it really helps support this channel. I'll catch you in the next video.